up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing- Wait a second. Do I really want to have an introduction like every other YouTuber out there? Hey boys and girls, today I'm- Hey there all you cool cats and kittens. Today we're going- Hello neighbor. It's good to be with you again. Alright, forget an introduction. We're just going to go right into it. I'm going to be showing you how to make an elephant today. This is one of my favorite drawings. Super simple, just a few steps. Here's a bigger version of it. Okay, first we're gonna start by drawing the elephant's ears and the top of his head. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lightly sketch just in case my lines don't come out the way I want, then I can erase. So I'm gonna start with big curve, that's the size of his ear. Then I'm going to go down like you're going down a hill. And then it's going to be straight. Straight till about halfway through your page. And then you're going to start to go back up again. Go back up the hill. It's going to be kind of rounded. That's going to be the top of his head and his ears. The next step is we're going to draw his head. So coming down from about where your hill starts to get flat, you're going to come down on one side and you're just going to do a straight line down and then a little hook. Same thing on the other side. The next step is to draw our trunk. We're going to do like a big old S shape. And remember to I'm drawing a little bit darker so you can see what I'm doing, but feel free to draw lighter so you can erase and then fix your lines if you don't like the way they're looking. So we're going to kind of follow the same on the other side like that. We're going to we're going to come to where to where the trunk meets the face and we're going to leave a little space in between here so we can draw his tusks. So what we're basically going to do is draw like a semicircle going down and then back up then we're doing the same on the other side leaving a little space there going down and then back up it's starting to come together now so this little space we left here is going to be for his tusks so we're just going to draw kind of like the the shape of a one of them hot tamale candies Right where our tusks are, we're going to come straight down, touching the ear, we're going to start to draw his legs. So we're going to draw a straight line down, do the same on the other side, make it parallel. Then we're going to draw a little stick here. and then his belly. So we're gonna kinda overlap, we're gonna go above that line and then go back. And we can't really see it on that side, but we'll pretend it's there. Last step, his eyes. Now, you can do his eyes however you like to do them, but I just like to do a couple basic circles and then I like to give them, I like to spread them out so there's a big gap in the middle. I don't know, gives them character. My next step is going to be outlining with a big black marker. So I'm using these markers that actually have two different tips. I have a small tip and then I have my favorite type of tip, what's called a chisel tip. It's kind of, kind of thick so you can go at different angles with it. So what I like to do is I like to use the very top, very top part and I can I press down and keep the same thickness the whole way through?
So the first method of decorating your elephant that I want to show you is this circular method where I just use a bunch of circles to fill in the empty spaces. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing because it takes a while, but what I do is I take a color and I'll start, I like to start in the very corners and I'll start just making a circle and then what I'm doing is I'm touching all the circles right next to each other. So right where I started off, that's kind of where I start again. And I like to make all the circles about the same size, but you could do them different sizes. And this takes a lot of patience and a lot of focus, but when it's finished, it looks awesome. If you get to the edge over here, you can do like, like semicircles like that, right? So say you have a spot like this, you fill it in with circles close as you can. You could either leave it or you could just fill the gap in like that. So you basically continue to do that the entire way through. You can use big circles and little circles. Doesn't matter. You can even do different colors if you want. So basically that's how I did this whole one right here. And then how I did these stripes. I'm taking another chisel tip marker here and I'm starting at the very edge and I'm just following along the whole path nice and slow. Pushing down firmly the whole time so I get the same thickness. Just like that. Boom. The next technique that I want to show you how you can decorate your elephant is the mosaic technique. That's where you use tape to make a design and then you paint or color over it and then you peel the tape back and then you see what cool design it made. So I have some tape and I have some watercolors. Unfortunately the tape I have is not the right type of tape you're supposed to use so I'm going to just be using scotch tape here. This is going to be tricky because I'm using clear tape and you can't really see it very well. Hopefully it peels off good.
And there we have it, folks. Our elephant two ways. Our mosaic watercolor way and our circle method way. Which one do you like better? I had an idea while I was peeling the tape off from this one. I thought it might be cool to take this circle method and fill in the empty spaces where the tape used to be with a bunch of circles. I might try that. Hope you guys had fun learning how to draw an elephant today. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Go, go, go.